Hi there. So in this video, we're going to look at how we can edit documents straight in the browser using Nextcloud and OnlyOffice. Sounds interesting? Then let's get started. OK, so in the first two parts of the video, we looked at how to update Nextcloud and how to fix the various issues that we can find in our installation. So we should now have an up-to-date version of Nextcloud and no errors. So now let's go ahead and install a really useful tool. So I'm sure we've all used Google Docs before to edit some documents in the cloud. Well, we can do the same thing with Nextcloud using only Office. Now, only Office isn't the only thing that we can use to do this. And in a previous video, I've gone through how to install Collabora with Nextcloud to do the same thing. But in my opinion, OnlyOffice does the job much better. And it's really compatible when using Microsoft Office documents. So that's a bit of a win there. Now version 18 of Nextcloud's been released now. And version 18 has official support for OnlyOffice with a document server being built into Nextcloud. However, a lot of people have been finding when using a Dockerized version of Nextcloud, that the only Office built-in integration isn't working quite as expected. And you can see here at the moment, I'm installing a fresh version of Nextcloud 18. And whilst it's installing, unfortunately the community document server isn't being installed correctly, and the installation's failed. Now it isn't hard to fix this part, and we can easily install the document server manually. Now the only Office document server isn't the same as the only Office app, which you can see here has been successfully installed. But what this allows us to do is put in the location of where the document server is in order to connect to that. So because the document server didn't install properly whilst I was installing Nextcloud, if I go to apps now and here do a search for community, we can manually download and install the community document server. So to do that, obviously we just click here on download and enable. OK, so it's installed now, version 0.1.5. Now, unfortunately, that's not enough to get things working. If I go to my files here, and then I create a new document, and I try to edit it, it's going to tell us that OnlyOffice cannot be reached. So if we go back to the part where it connects to OnlyOffice, go to settings, and then OnlyOffice at the bottom here, we can see here that it's putting in the location of the only Office document server. Now notice here how it's actually put in the local IP address of my Nextcloud instance, but not the address through my domain name using HTTPS. So the address is incorrect and we'd need to change it, replacing the local IP address with the same subdomain and domain that we use to access our Nextcloud instance. So probably that's going to be something like nextcloud.yourdomain.com. So I'm going to try changing the document editing service address to the correct one. And now I'm going to go across and see if I can actually edit a document using OnlyOffice. But again, unfortunately, it still says that OnlyOffice can't be reached. So at the time of making this video in February 2020, it seems like there's a problem setting up the Dockerized version of Nextcloud with the built-in OnlyOffice document server. But luckily, we don't have to use the built-in document server that's inside Nextcloud 18. We can just set up our own Docker container running only Office and then connect our Nextcloud instance directly to that. So now you may be thinking to yourself, so just what was the point in Space Invaders showing you how to set up only Office in a way where it isn't currently working? Well, that's because I'm sure very soon it is going to be working the way I just showed you. But until then, well, maybe if like me, you prefer to keep your Nextcloud and only Office containers separate, and this is how to install only Office Document Server as its own separate container. So as always, we do a search on the Apps tab and we search for only Office. And the one I'm going to install is this one in the bottom right hand corner, the official only Office Document Server. So click on the icon to install. And now let's fill out the template. Now, just like Nextcloud, we're going to have to reverse proxy only Office and as in my next cloud video, I'm going to be using Let's Encrypt to reverse proxy mine. So to make it easier, I'm putting this container on its own custom Docker network, the one here that I call ProxyNet. Okay, so everything else in the container you can just leave as is. 
but port 880 is quite a common port here, so I'd suggest just to check that no other Docker containers that you're running are using that port. And for me port 880 is in use, so I'm going to change the port out to port 990. Ok so with that done I'm going to click apply and pull down the container. And once the container is down just click on done and then I'm going to go back to the docker tab here. And we can see that only office is running so I'm going to stop the container now. Because before we can actually use only office we're going to have to copy some security certificates across into the only office container. So to do that we need to open the terminal window so let's click onto the icon in the top right hand corner. And the first thing we're going to have to do is to create a folder for the certificates and we're going to create that inside of the app data for only office. So just paste in the following command. All of the commands you're going to find in the description. Ok so with that folder created to put the certificates in, let's copy the first certificate over into there. So let's paste in the next command. And this is copying the first key from the let's encrypt app data folder and putting it in the folder we just created and renaming the cert to onlyoffice.crt. Ok so let's hit enter to execute that command. Right so that's done, so next let's paste in the last command to copy across the key file. Right ok so that's all done, but let's just double check those files are there. But to do that let's change directory into the folder we created in the onlyoffice app data and then just type ls to list out the files. Ok so it looks good both files are there. So now let's close the terminal window and now the last thing we need to do is to reverse proxy our only office using let's encrypt. So in the description of this video I've put in a file to download. Download the configuration file onto your desktop then just unzip the file and with that unzipped I'm going to delete the original. Now before we go ahead and use it let's just have a look at the file. Now two things are important here. The first thing here this server name, this refers to the subdomain that you're going to use with OnlyOffice. Just like anything else you reverse proxy it needs to have its own subdomain created which points to your internet WAN IP address. In this file I've set it to be document server. But if you don't want to use that subdomain for your name then don't forget to change it to whatever you're using and put it in here. Now the other important thing is this part here. This refers to the name of the container. Because this proxy configuration file is set to use name resolution through the custom docker network. So it's going to be looking for the container with that name. Right so that's the proxy config file and how it works. So now let's copy the file and put it in the right place in our let's encrypt container. So now go ahead and open your app data folder and go to let's encrypt and then here go to nginx and then go to the proxy hyphen comps folder and then just copy the configuration file into this folder here. And now if I sort these files by type I can see the file here. Ok so let's close the window and go back to the docker tab and first I'm going to start up the only office container and my next cloud's not running so I'm going to start that too. Now it's also really important that you don't forget to restart your let's encrypt because if you don't it won't be able to read that file that we just pasted into its app data. Right so now we're ready to use only office so let's go into next cloud and I'm just going to go to the apps tab here and we need to make sure that we have the only office app installed. So you can just do a search at the top and you can see here for me it's already installed and I'm on version 4.1.4. .4. So if it's not installed then install it and then go to settings and then on the left hand side here you'll see where we can put in the settings for only office. So click onto that and now here in the box where it says document editing service address here we need to put the web address of our only office server. And so that should be something like https colon forward slash forward slash document server dot your domain dot com. So with that put in then just click on to save. Then if that works you should see a message at the top saying your settings have successfully been updated. So with that done now it's time to go and test it. So let's create a document and see if we can edit it. Right cool so all looking good only office is loading this document and I can edit it straight in the browser. Well so that's it, that's the end of the video. I find only office really useful and I hope you guys do too. Now I really hope you enjoyed watching the video. Now if you did, if you please just take a moment to hit the like button because it really does help the YouTube algorithms in making my videos more popular. 
And I just want to give a really big thank you to all of my Patreons and supporters out there. It's you guys who make these videos possible. So thank you so much for your support. Well, as it's the end of the video, it's time for me to go. But whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good and I'll catch you in the next video.